I'm constantly having this conversation with students. Irons and drivers are different. You have to have two modes for a lot of reasons. Today we're going to focus on the fact that with an iron we want to try to hit down on the ball and with a driver we want to swing up on the ball. And I'm going to give you a feel and a concept that you can take to the driving range and practice. You can do this also in your house. It starts with air swings. So let's start with our driver. So what I want you to do is go ahead and grip the club and hold it straight out in front of you. Imagine there's a tabletop all the way around your body about chest height. Now I want you to swing it around yourself. Let your wrists hinge, let your body pivot. I would try to look more straight ahead as I'm looking at you and don't let your head totally twist with your body, but just feel that the club is just coasting along that tabletop the entire way around you. So now we're going to tilt the table a little bit towards your trail side. So just imagine that table on about a 20 degree angle and we're gonna go down and up, gliding along that tilted tabletop the whole way. What you want to avoid is going back and getting steep or changing the angle of the club. Just let it be low and swing up to high. So low to high on the golf ball with the same feel, low to high through impact. Crushed it. Okay, so now what's next? What do we do with the irons here? And we can't swing from low to high or we will run into the ground before we ever catch the ball. So we have to flip the table and get it back to level, maybe even a touch tilted towards the target. Don't go crazy with this because you start taking massive divots and coming over the top. So at least level or a little bit down and then get this feeling of slightly high to low through impact with your irons. So let's take that feeling to the golf ball. Make sure our setup's nice and level. You're not starting back here and then stay over the ball and swing down the slope. Perfect clean shot, nice divot in front of the ball. This is what we're going for, people. So imagine your tabletop, do it up in the air, then get in your golf posture and apply the same feeling down here at the golf ball. I know this is gonna help you out big time.